Okay, guys, we're now on to our second lesson of heat energy transfer. Exactly the same as last time. You're going to need something to write with, something to write on, and your attention span. Focus on what we're doing today and avoid any distractions. Let's get started. Pause the video, answer the questions, and check your answers. Rewind and rewatch the explanations as you need to, especially when you get onto those independent practice questions at the end. If you're not sure on anything, you can just rewind and have another look at that explanation. Okay, so let's get started. Right, now I want us to think about an example of on a hot sunny day, we've had a few of those recently, when we have metal objects left out in the sun, so for example knives or forks, if you're having a barbecue, if they're left out in direct heat from the sun, they get really hot and then when you grab them they feel much hotter than other objects do. And let's have a look at why that is. It's the same process as we looked at last lesson, conduction but metals are better at it than other materials for a couple of reasons. And to understand, we just need to zoom in and have a look at the structure of the metal. So we have the positive ions surrounded by our free delocalized electrons. So that delocalized just means they're able to move around, they're not stuck to a particular atom. And the reason why these metals are able to conduct much better than other materials is because of how closely the positive ions are packed with each other. So metal ions packed closely. Because they're so close to each other, when they vibrate and collide, it's much easier to do because they're nearer to each other. They also have these free electrons. It's because they can move around, they don't need to bump into or vibrate to transfer the energy. They can just move lots and transfer themselves along without having to bump into each other. So the free electrons transfer energy quickly. Okay, here are your key points from bed. Make sure you've got this written down before we move on. Okay, all right, now self-test yourself on those. Make sure you've got those in your head. Get someone to quiz you to check. And here are your independent practice questions. Have a go at all of these. Remember, you can go back to the video and re-watch the explanation if you're not sure on anything. Annoying ones. Okay, and there are your answers. Well done if you got all of those. If there are any you weren't sure of, go back, have another look at that explanation and see if it makes sense another time through. But if you're happy with that and you got all of those, then that's all for today and we'll see you next time.